All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. If you guys missed out during the last episode, we have finally arrived here at Pandemonium. And however, we went and also to take care of a few of some of the different uh, sub-bosses that were also here. And uh, during that time, uh, I believe now uh, we are finally done with all of that. We are now back over at where the Moogle is going to be. And now I believe we are going to start heading on over to a little bit of some more within uh, the extra areas around here in Pandemonium because we need to go and head on over into our next boss, which that is going to be known as the Silver Dragon, which that is, of course, is Kuja's pet that we've been kind of seeing throughout uh, our time so far within disc number one and whatnot, and even in disc number two as well. Uh, he kind of looks a little bit like Reshi Ram from Pokemon. I always kind of brought that topic up, I think, a little bit within disc number one. Uh, but however... Um, we also do have some uh, brand new guys on our team. We do have like Steiner and Amrit and Iko. They are finally back on our team once again. And uh, we actually do have some brand new items for them. Uh, now, I believe everything is still the same thing. I believe with uh, Zidane, so nothing's there. Uh, but we do have Steiner with the Platinum Helm, Venetia Shield, Genji Armor, and also with the Protect Ring. We also have uh, with Amrit as well, too, with those type of moves. And we also do have Iko with her new moves as well. Now, I believe I also do have one more little quick thing that I do want to do, and that is to add in the White Row to Iko, uh, just so that I can add that, uh, just in case. But however, we need to go ahead on down through this way, though. And we need to play a little bit of a mini game here. Uh, now, this mini game is actually kind of annoying, uh, but also to uh, running into some monsters around in this place is also annoying as well too. But uh, I believe here in this place you can find the same type of creatures that we kind of been seeing from before. Uh, so we can find like movers and other guys around here. So yeah, watch out for the movers though. Uh, they do kind of like uh, to make sure that we all get virus stuff around in here. But anyways, we do have some really nice good I uh, well nice good uh, weapons around here, so we can knock out these guys very quickly. Now, make sure that these guys do not go for a Delta attack, because uh, when they do, virus combo, uh, hopefully that does not get ourselves all virus up, because that would be a problem. Okay, let's just make sure that we go and knock him out of here. Alright, there we go. So that takes care of two, so now we don't have to worry about getting ourselves into that critical hit uh, type of problem. Um, let's go for another attack as well. I'm going to go and add a, in the, uh, in the uh, vaccine uh, a little bit later if that is going to happen, but I don't think, I haven't seen any type of status element yet uh, from Zidane yet. But there we go, only one more left to go. Hopefully take this guy out here as quickly as we can. Yeah, Iko's not really doing the best of damage, but at least it's something, you know. And I think we're done. Yeah, every single little one of those movers are done. There we go, perfect. Now, however, I am doing Pokemon Rumble, so if you guys do go and check out that. Oh, man. All right, well, that sucks. Well, unfortunately, we do have to go and add in with the uh, virus uh, vaccine type of thing on us because we are in that effect right now at the moment. But not to worry. We have a whole bunch of vaccines. So we're all good. It's always good to have a lot of these things just in case because these guys are going to be really, really, really annoying. There we go. And I think we're good. Now, however, uh, we do need to go and heal up a little bit, so let's go and bring that back up for the dawn there. Everybody seems like they're somewhat alright. We haven't got ourselves too much attacked up with uh, with those enemies there. Now, I believe there's only one more floor to go, and just head on right down through this part. And I believe this time around, we do need to go and touch on this button here. And this is the little mini game. You just have to be careful of not touching with the blue lights, or else I think there will be a problem like that all right and there we go guys i finally made uh that freaking problem okay let's go and finally reach on over to where this door is gonna finally be and uh now we're gonna be running into a more of a uh, annoying type of situation but anyways uh here in this specific area this is where you can find the last of the ates that are gonna be here within our time of final fantasy 9 now this was actually a little bit difficult to kind of go and do but i do have a little bit of a guide to kind of figure out on how we can grab out on the very last of these ates here but I believe also as well too, just right off recording, I did actually get everybody healed back up from that annoying uh, little battle that was happening. But anyways, come over to this way and we want to go and move something around here and pressing this down to zero. So just enter that in and now we can just go and cancel that out. And now we can go and start heading on over to this place. Now, while doing so, uh, just go and do this exact same order that I'm going to do if you ever want to go and try this out. But you have to go and touch on this guy out here first. And it uh, seems like, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go and reach on over to there right away. Now we just have to go and head on over to this part. And it seems like we can't do that either. But there is also one more little flooring right here. 
and doing something like that nope uh, this magical barrier is not gonna be moving anytime soon it looks like so now we have to go and run all the way back to where we last were but again we got ourselves into our battle and i'll cut this part out and i'll see you guys when we go and reach on over to that place again Okay, guys, so I am back from that annoying battle, but I didn't even realize this, but it seems like Malboros are also a part of the enemies that are around here, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I think Malboros are actually something they could also find in Final Fantasy X as well, which uh, those guys are actually pretty cool. I kind of like their designs, but maybe next time if I uh, go and re-battle out with one of these guys, maybe I'll show you guys what the Malboros kind of do look like around out here. They're like green type of creatures. Uh, so now we want to go and press on number two here. And now go do something like that. And now we have to go and do the same exact pattern again. <laughs> I think so, if I want to recall. So let me just figure out how this is going to work. So let me go and press this down. And maybe I can figure this out. Nope. Okay. So let's try it out like this way again. And then we'll see if this is going to be able to work. Nope. Doesn't work either. And the final and last time around down here. Let's go and press this guy up. Nope. Not gonna work. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we did this twice now, and what's gonna happen? So let's go and head back over here, and I think the ATE should probably show up at this point. And with that being said, mind, yep, so everybody's here now, so we'll never get anywhere if we go and keep on going back and forth like this. Well, of course. Hmm, looks like we can't go any much further. Yeah. We'll, we'll handle these controls, so why don't we go and take the others and wait by the elevator? Alright, well I think that sounds like a great idea. You guys all go and operate the controls while we head out to the elevator. Alright, so let's go and do it. So, you got the controls, everyone? Okay, and I think with that being said in mind, we can now finally go and start moving around with the actual controls that is going to happen from here. Now, I'll be back in one quick second. I'm going to figure out on uh, what we need to go and do for this part, because I think we need to go and reach up to the third floor, but I'll make sure that we are going to go into the exact same place out here. Okay guys, so I am back. So now, since I am already here into this little ATE, all that we have to do is just go and press on number three. And I believe the last one that we actually have to go and do is uh, then go and press on number four as well. So number three is already set and ready to go. Let's just go and head all the way up to the very top of this place. So watch out for any enemies like the Malboros that are gonna show up around out here. So let's go and finally jump onto this guy. And while I'm doing so, there should be a chest that is going to contain out quite a bit of money, which that is pretty cool. Oh, come on. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Ugh, it's kind of annoying to get around there, but we finally got it. So now come around over here. Press on this guy. And there we go. And I think we finally got ourselves with the chest. Hey. Got ourselves 20,000 gil. Nice. Eh, pretty cool right there. Go and fall all the way back down. And now we have to do this one more other time. Bring out the classic good old AT for this one. The elevator. This is so nice to have right here. Because if you guys have not played Final Fantasy IX before. This little AT is going to help you out quite a bit. Just for this little section. Because you don't have to go and run back and forth between places. You can just, really just do it right here all smoothly. And just have a good old time with that. Now come across over here though, and we're gonna go and go up one more extra other floor. Now I believe we're gonna be reaching on over to some teleportation type of places as well too in the process, and uh, let's go and start searching around. So let's go and check this place out here first, and I think we could go and uh, interact with some more uh, chests before we go and talk on over to the Moogle though. Now the Silver Dragon I think we'll pretty much have to wait until the next episode, but that's okay, I'm not all that too worried about it because we do have to go and do some moving around though as well too. So head on over to this way, come down over here, and I think we can get ourselves a brand new equipment, I think for any of our guys, which I think that'd be for Steiner or Zidane, got ourselves some Carabini mail, got to go and check back with that on how that's going to work a little bit later, and this could probably get us into another chest, because I'm trying to make sure exactly where any of these chests are going to be, so here's this one, come down here and get yourself a free elixir, so there we go, now let me just figure out on where else that we can go to. So I guess there's no more chest after this, uh, but I guess we do have one more little elevator place that we do need to go and reach on over towards. So let's just go and head down this floor in here. And there was another spot that we did get to see a little bit within our time of this area. And uh, I believe this is where we can go and meet up with the Moogle at some point as well too. So just head up around here, watch out for any other creatures, but so far we're good for right now. 
Okay, I'm just gonna watch this guide at the same time while I'm playing throughout here just so I can literally make sure exactly where I'm going. So, uh, heading up through this part, there should be kind of a sp split in the path here because we got ourselves like two different places. So, let's see what we can go and do. So, it seems like we're gonna go and head on over down towards this way. Watch out for any creatures here, but we got ourselves with this teleporter. And we got ourselves just one more extra one as well. And I'm pretty certain that we can just go and grab this chest right up in this spot. And let's see what we can get from this guy. And we got ourselves the battle boots. So yeah, we already got ourselves some battle boots from before, but you can go and pick them up right here if you want to go and do it right from Pandemonium. Uh, we already got those battle boots from before over with uh, Kina, of course. And uh, let's go and head on back over to this way over yonder. And I think by this time we can go ahead throughout this path. And I think we should be able to now go and reach on over to our dude, the Moogle. Now we just have to just get it right around this spot. And I think we are finally here. Yes, we are. We are finally now at the other final and last Moogle. That's going to be for this uh, little disc segment here for the time being. So anyways, I'm going to go and end it off out here for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's too bad that I haven't went and taken care of the Silver Dragon yet. But we will be holding that off in the next episode. And I'll be seeing you guys then. And of course, peace.